Hi friends, welcome back to Anna Nail School English channel. In today's video, I'm going to do my best friend's nails. And today what we did is a glitter encapsulation and glitter ombre. So without any further ado, let's begin with the video. Okay, so this is uh, my friend's hands and she mostly uses press on nails on her nails. So there is a lot of blue residue and she also has a, a lot of dry skin around the cuticle area. So I directly started with a electric file and a flame bit. And as you can see, um, I started with the electric file uh, with a speed of 1800, uh, sorry, 18,000 RPM. And once I cleaned uh, the cuticle area uh, around her nails, I then switched into a mandrel bit. Uh, with a sand band of uh, 180 grit and the reason I used the sand band here is because as I said there is a lot of blue residue on her nail plate and uh, obviously sand band is much faster and effective so that's the reason I used the sand band and I'm using only at 3000 rpm speed and remember when you're using a sand band don't go for like 8000 10000 rpm speed just use 2 or 3000 rpm or maximum you can go up to 4000 and do not put any pressure just be very gentle and once I clean the nail plate and the cuticle area I used my cuticle nipper to uh, nip off all the excess dead skin around the epinechium area and here as you can see we have a lot of hang nails around the cuticle area so we needed a really clean cuticle so basically when we do the dry manicure we make sure that there is no dry skin or hang nails or hanging skin nothing it's it should be like absolutely clean uh, in and around the nail area and uh, that's what I did and I am going back with the flame bit again and just cleaning like I said there is a lot of dry dead skin so which we are cleaning uh, going back and forth with the bit and then uh, the nipper and once we are done with the cleaning we can just test off and then use alcohol to clean up the nail plate After cleaning up, I started applying dehydrator. So dehydrator is basically to remove any remaining oil moisture from the nail plate. Uh, this is a mandatory step for all kind of product application on the natural nails. And after uh, dehydrator, I started with uh, acid free primer. This is a mandatory step before any extensions. Next, I am going to use nail forms here because nail forms gives a very compact uh, finish uh, when you're done with your extensions. And I'm using paper forms and I just uh, tiered all 10 pieces of paper forms and then uh, as I mentioned in the title of the video I'll be using glitter and here I have loose glitter and I'm adding white uh, sorry clear acrylic powder to create like a glitter acrylic uh, if you have glitter acrylic uh, ready-made then you can use that if you don't have any anything you wanted to add to the nails you can mix it with a clear acrylic and then you can directly apply and it's more easy than directly putting the glitter on the nails so just always mix it with uh, acrylic or even gel you can use and I'm using a monomer obviously I'm doing uh, acrylic extension so I'm using monomer and I pour the monomer and I uh, you know take my brush and dip it and release all the bubbles and stuff and make it ready and then I started putting on the foam so here I will not be doing a uh, glitter on all her nails I'm going to do one nail fully glittery and uh, two of her nails glitter with uh, a nude ombre that's what I'm going to do and if you want to learn uh, foam fitting then I have another video on my channel you can check that out where I have de explained in detail how to uh, you know use the forms so here I'm fitting the foam and once the forms are ready we can start with the application So now the forms are on and I'm going to start with the application. So first step what I did is I applied a very thin layer of clear acrylic onto her nail plate because we are going to do full glitter application on her index finger. So uh, having a clear base is always good because when you take off or remove the product uh, it will be easy for you to remove it. And after that uh, I started applying the glitter so as you can see I picked it as a bead. So that's the reason I mixed it with the clear acrylic so that I can pick it as a bead rather than 
uh, you know using the brush to uh, transfer the glitter onto the nail so this way it's easy to manage the glitter so just start slow uh, put the glitter since it's a clear acrylic you will get extra time to work with and I started applying the product on the free edge and I'm going to build the nail shape that I wanted so here we are going to kind of build a coffin shape nail and it's going to be like medium to large nail, uh, length and after finishing I was like oh god we should have gone a little bit more longer because my friend has the um, super ability to manage extra long nails uh, she's so good with her nails so uh, after doing I was like okay we should have gone for a little bit more bigger but anyways uh, overall it all looked uh, like really cute and uh, here I am adding more glitter so we need that finger packed with glitter and uh, as you can see this was before Christmas so we, what we did was like Christmas glittery themed she wanted this one I had green also but she said we can go with red one so here we have red and white and a little bit of black glitters also so I'm taking my time to level up the acrylic the glitter acrylic and once this is done uh, so another thing since we are doing like completely glitter on this nail when you apply the glitter just make sure that you are not building up a lot of height because uh, the glitter needs to be encapsulated which means we need to put a clear layer of acrylic and that acrylic is what the clear acrylic is what we are going to use to build the architecture of the nail so uh, this is another important point when you're doing something like this make sure that you're not building up too much thickness uh, otherwise we won't be able to encapsulate it or if we encapsulate it encapsulated with a lot of thickness then the nails will look very bulky which we don't want so uh, I finished with the glitter application then I picked up a bead a clear acrylic bead and I put it on the uh, around the cuticle area and I seal the cuticle area and then I'm going to just cover the entire thing with that clear acrylic so now another uh, important point while doing the uh, encapsulation do not uh, disturb the acrylic with your brush a lot okay so if you do that then there will be bubbles or it will look like a little cloudy so if you want like a clear clear glass like finish then do not disturb the acrylic too much don't let the acrylic form bubbles in it just be very gentle and be quick uh, with the application okay and also don't miss any corners or any part uh, while you apply the uh, uh, encapsulation or uh, while you apply the clear acrylic Now let's move on to the next finger so in this finger instead of doing a fully glittery nails we are going to do half glitter and then half nude ombre so at first I'm starting with the same glitter and I'm going to build the length that I wanted again even though we are doing ombre here we still need to encapsulate to encapsulate the glitter part so here uh, as you can see I'm building up the thickness and length of the nail using the glitter acrylic and once this is done then we start with our ombre process Now the glitter is laid now second part is taking a, a peach uh, acrylic which is a cover acrylic and taking a small bead and keep placing it right uh, behind the glitter and blended it and then taking another bead and building the cuticle as well as using the same bead to like kind of fade off over the glitter okay so this way uh, we don't see where the glitter is like kind of stopped and we are covering that and at the same time we have like a faded glitter effect and now after doing this uh, what we have to do is use 
clear acrylic to encapsulate the glitter part okay so this is so here what i'm using is a clear acrylic because we need to obviously encapsulate the glitter so i did the ombre part and so that the cuticle and the apex is formed and the rest of the area i'm using the clear acrylic to encapsulate it and again when you're doing this make sure that you're covering corner to corner don't miss any area just corner to corner cover it and then you can move on to the next finger Now I have finished all the fingers and it's time for us to remove the forms and when you remove when you are removing the forms just be very gentle sometimes the forms will be like really tight to their skin so just be careful while removing it here as you can see it was like literally stuck onto her fingers so just be gentle okay and after removing the forms we can start filing and shaping so whenever i remove the form the first thing i do is i use my 180 grit file and uh, give like a rough shaping around the side walls and the free edge area and then i start doing the actual filing so here since we did the glitter encapsulation uh, the thickness is a little extra so i'm not going to use the hand file i'm going to use my electric file as you can see i'm using a red abrasive mark uh, ceramic bit here and my machine is around uh, 21,000 rpm here so i'm using my bit to file and shape the nails and once this is done obviously i'll use my hand file just to like uh, fine tune it and then i'll be using my buffer to just buff off all the scratch marks and stuff uh, so that it's ready for our top coat application so oh, that's how i did the filing and shaping on all the fingers and once this is done as i said i use my hand file and the buffer and once all the filing is done once you're satisfied you can use an alcohol wipe to wipe and clean the nail plate or you can also ask the client to wash their hands at this stage um, so that there is no dust before the uh, top coat application With that final touch up we are now ready for top coat application and the best part of uh, these types of nails are that we don't have to apply gel polish. Uh, now we all we have to do is just apply a no wipe top coat and seal our design so that's exactly what I'm doing here I'm using a no wipe top coat to seal the design and as you can see the glitters are coming to life and it looked so stunning and after this we also added uh, two cross charms on her ring finger I wanted to use that from a very long time it was not necessary but we still went ahead and did that so that's how the final nails looks like so here is the um, final pictures or the clip of the nails and I hope you guys enjoy this video if you like it don't forget to like share comment all those good things and I'll see you soon on my next video until then stay safe bye